Hello and welcome to Copperhead Road Homestead. I'm Daniel and we're glad you're here today. Today I want to talk to you about this bamboo. If you're interested in something like that, then come along and see what we're doing. I know this is a controversial one because uh, some people hate bamboo. Some people think bamboo is the very worst thing ever because they say it's invasive and it causes all sorts of problems and soon it'll take over. And maybe that's true in some soils. I have had this here for about two or three years and I've been looking for this uh, ever since I planted it. Do you see this right over here? This is a shoot and this is a shoot. And here's another shoot right here. If you're trying to get more bamboo, this is the time that you need to get it. This is what I got a few years ago. I actually got three or four or five sets of about this from someone else. They were giving it away. They said, come get this. We hate it. We're going to cut it all down. If you want any of it, come and get it. So I came and got it and only one of them survived. This is yellow striped bamboo. I've actually got another stand uh, just a little bit further down. I'll show you in a few minutes of uh, giant timber bamboo. Some people hate it and some people love it. There are two different kinds of bamboo. There's running bamboo and there's clumping bamboo. People say if you're going to get any kind at all get the clumping bamboo uh, because it's not quite as invasive the running bamboo can uh, spread 10 or 20 feet and send a shoot up 20 feet away and the reason I'm trying to grow it is because it has so many uses on the homestead you can use it for building you can use it for trellises for your garden fishing poles for all sorts of different things because it has so many different uses it is like grass people who hate it say that it's invasive from what I've been told and what I've read and I could see it right now all you've got to do is whenever it's short like this mow over it. It'll stop. Another one of the reasons that you can use it is for a screen and that's one of the reasons I planted. Again, we have great neighbors. It's not that we don't have good neighbors. It's that this is farm back here and this is residential behind us. Uh, so we want to create that screen. We value our privacy just like pretty much anyone. It's their backyard. They don't have a privacy fence and we don't have a privacy fence. Another reason to grow it is for a screen, but it has so many uses. Our neighbors that are about 30 or 40 feet away from this mow their yards about once a week during the summer. Now, we don't mow that much. We've got mulch everywhere. This behind me is our giant timber bamboo. I planted that early last year. It's over here just beside our mulch pile. And uh, it's right behind the property line as well. This bamboo can get, um, if I remember correctly, uh, it can get about six inches in diameter. So it's really wonderful for building. Uh, you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for barter. If you haven't seen our video on barter, I'll put a link to it right up here. For the first two or three years, it doesn't do much at all. Uh, but then it starts growing and growing and growing. This time next year, it'll probably be much larger and it can get uh, 30, 40 feet high. Great screen. Great many uses on the homestead for trellising, for uh, building shelters and things like that, uh, especially this giant timber bamboo. It may be your thing, it may not be your thing. I'm interested to hear if you've had negative experiences with bamboo. If you have, then comment below. If you have positive experiences with bamboo, comment below. The thing is, uh, you read some of these things and what we're doing on the farm is we're experimenting, we're trying different things, and some things might not work out, but you read some of these things sometimes and they'll tell you one thing, but then uh, other people with experience will tell you other things. Some people have said that it is horribly invasive keep it away they said the same thing about the black locust that it's horribly invasive keep it away they say the same thing about english ivy just keep it away on the other hand these plants have a great deal of uses that you can use the black locust if you haven't seen that video about black locust i'll post it right up here uh, you can use the bamboo and i'd love to hear about your uses for bamboo as well also uh, this is day 11 of the plant everyday challenge and before i uh, filmed this i planted a few pumpkins i just planted them where the pigs were. Some that ordered last year and none of them sprouted. They might be bad, but I just put a little bit of compost on them, put a flag next to them and put them in the ground. Uh, they were big mammoth. I got them offline, uh, but then I also planted two hills of uh, jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. I really picked these out. Uh, one of the reasons I'm growing them uh, is for fodder for the animals. Pumpkin is supposed to be a great dewormer. Uh, the kids love to carve on the pumpkins. And also after I get done filming, I'm going to plant a few hills of squash. Also, for those of you who watch my videos frequently, I really appreciate you. The very best thing you can do to help our channel is to share it, like and subscribe, comment below and share it. Share it. I'm in Facebook jail. One of the places I share my videos is on Facebook and a lot of these homesteading groups. If you are part of some of these homesteading groups and you want to help me, then you can share it in some of those groups for me. Tell them to check it out. But if you'll share it, that will really help me out. Come back for more and share it with your friends uh, so we can grow this channel and get more content out to you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.